Hey everyone, I know you're wondering why I'm holding this big box of stuff. In this box is a bunch of Taz and a few Mickey Mouse items that I got from a seller a year or so ago, and it's been stuck in this box ever since. I haven't looked through it to see what was actually there. Today, we're going to do that, so stay tuned. There's a local guy who has huge yard sales. I mean huge. He has a large backyard and sometimes he has like 60 tables put out. Obviously he buys storage units and he usually either has it when it's real cold or real hot. And But you can find good stuff you can brave the elements. One time he had a huge yard sale and we went and found some good stuff but the next day he put an ad in the, on Craigslist for a huge lot of Tasmanian Devil merchandise. Now we're big, I'm a big Bugs Bunny fan, always have been, and Taz never was my favorite, but I could see potential. He only wanted like $100 for a huge, huge lot, including this one. Now a lot of it was plush, Tasmanian plush, and some radios and such, and I brought it into the warehouse, and honestly, I never went through it. I had other more pressing matters and I really didn't know if some of the stuff would sell but I had it to fall back on into my profit pile as someone calls it now. My pile that I would list when I just basically didn't have anything else to list. So I'm almost to that point now but I thought that this is colorful enough and pretty enough and just neat enough to go through on camera and I can't price it on camera obviously but I'm going to show you what's in the tote and then I'm, when I list it, I'll tell you what I listed and tell you how much I listed it for. So let's go. Well, obviously you see this Taz lunchbox. All metal, obviously. Taz on the inside. And it's by Playworks. I've heard of that name before. I've filmed this will sell for at least $10. But I'm not sure, but this is certainly one that I'm going to look into. Taz Television Organizer. Box is kind of beat up. That's an issue already. But if you pull it, you just slap it on the back of your couch. You, I guess it tapes on there. And you put your remote controls in there. So. That's worth looking up to. I think all of them's worth looking up, so maybe I'll stop saying that. Looney Tunes, five piece figurine set. Again, box is pretty beat up, a lot of edge wear, but it does not look like it was ever taken out of package. So I definitely will have to see about that. Yeah. Mickey got stuck in there for some reason, not sure why, but that's pretty cool. Obviously not worth much on its own, but maybe a collection of Mickey Mouse stuff, you know, it might sell pretty good. Self-adhesive borders of Taz. I like these, but I don't know enough about borders and wallpaper and such to know how well the adhesive is now. I mean, I could sell it as is because it's pretty cool, but I'm just afraid the buyer will get it and try to put it up and it won't stick. So, we'll put these in the iffy pile. Same goes with these. Yeah. Wall coverings. Is the adhesive still good? I don't know. Interesting though. Now these are pretty cool. Looney, Ten, Looney Tunes pen piles. It's a pen. You can see it with a ta gold Taz on top. Not sure if it writes, and it's got a little issue in here, and a little issue, possibly from rust. I don't know, but it's in the tin. Pretty cool. So we have a couple of these, and it's the same. Another Taz. I'll have to check to see if they're right. This one still has its little label on there, and it was a $25 pen. Like I said, it doesn't look like it's been used, but the ink could have dried up. So we're going to stick this over here. Looney Tunes collectible clock. Now again, there's Taz. It probably still works. Needs a battery. Um, 
could get a couple of bucks for it. I like it. Then we've got a bunch of these, and there's a, and a there's a little baby Mickey or baby Minnie rather. Plus we have some other little Disney stuff, Dumbo and Scamp maybe, and another and definitely Mickey. Thumper maybe, okay. I'm not sure what this is. This is Bank, Bank of Acme. It doesn't turn, but it's a obviously a piggy bank. No money in there, but I'm sure I get a little bit for that. This is obviously an alarm clock. I'll have to test it out. You can see this side is pretty dirty. I have to clean it. Plug looks intact. It's definitely worth checking out. Light and light. Night light rather. Looney Tunes. Package is beat up. Probably still works though. This is out of its packaging. I'm not sure what it is. I mean it's Taz had a barbecue. You know, he's got a hot dog on his you know, a stick and a little spatula there. Yeah, we'll see. Looney Tune stamp collectibles. Huh? That's pretty cool. Magnetic greeting card envelope included. Huh. I'll have to certainly look those up. You know, 32 cent stamps, it gives you an idea how old they are. What are stamps now? 55 cents? Looney Tunes keychain clock. Bet it works with a battery. Again, packaging and all these are kind of iffy, but this is a candy keeper with candy in there. I think that's going to the trash. Obviously, no one will try that candy. Baby rattle. Taz, baby, baby Taz, baby rattle. Interesting. And to my sweetheart. Lady Taz, I like that. Good little Christmas ornament. Again, a lot of these probably aren't going to be worth a lot individual, but you know, maybe that's a lot. Taz lot. There's a little baby Sylvester and Tweety. Light bulb had the text see, check to see if that works. Another one of those in a package. This is a little address book. Yeah. It's held together button. Flowers kind of iffy, but again, in a lot. Another Taz lunch tin contains grape flavored candy. I bet the tin itself is worth a little bit. The candy will have to get on the way. It's two th dated 2001, so that's 19 year old candy, so yeah, probably not worthwhile, candy-wise, anyway. What's this? This is... A Minnetonka brand. I'm not sure what it is, but it unscrews. Uh, maybe, sh maybe shampoo or conditioner or something was in there. It's not sure what it smells like, but... Interesting. Well, this is an applause. I won't say ashtray, but probably not since it's plastic. Um, candy tray? That's more like it. Candy tray. Since it's got a hole, needs cleaning up. Would look good on someone's desk who likes Looney Tunes. Little baby Looney Tunes plate from Wedgwood. Nice little collector's item. Someone will want it. Looney Tunes note holder, still in shrink wrap. That's pretty cool. Again, Taz. Mickey Mouse Snow Globe. Supposed to play music, does not. Probably need a battery. But the water looks like it has, if you can tell, looks like it's come down, drained a little bit. Shake it up. That might be a trash can item too. Golf balls. Looney Tunes golf balls. Taz. 
a lot of golfers out there. I don't know if they actually play with them, but you never know. What's this? It's a Bugs Bunny. Oh, it's a pepper shaker. I don't know where the salt part is, but it's a it's salt or pepper. Let's see. Spreader set. A little cheese spreader set. I like that. That's pretty neat. Um, not real sure what this is. Oh, it's a, it's a radio? Yeah, it's a little radio. Hangs around your neck. Needs batteries, obviously. Cleaned up. And it might sell for a little bit. People like Tweety Bird. A diary. Taz diary. I don't know how to... It even has a... It even has a lock on there. I wonder if there's a key anywhere in here. I'm sure there's someone who keeps a diary these days. Another baby Looney Tunes nightlight. And a little Mickey snow globe, J.C. Penny. Their date on it. No date on, but it doesn't look like it's leaked any. In. Another keepsake ornament. Taz and the She Devil. That's the woman's. That's the girl's name. Is she Devil. Little picture frame. Again, not worth much, but maybe put together with some other things. Sweet tart eggs. With poo on top. I wonder if there's a date on this. I don't see a date on it, but I'd be willing to bet it won't be edible. And another little frame. Doesn't have glass, it's got plastic cleaned up. It might be worth something. Okay, that's my Looney Tunes, Taz, little bit of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse mystery box. Now that I've gone through it and saw what was actually in there, I gotta go each piece individually and see what it's worth. And if I find anything good, you know, I'll certainly show you. If you see something I missed or something you want, you let me know, and we'll see if we can't work something out. So, with that having, having said that, please, if you like this channel, hit subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell, and hopefully on my next video I'll be able to show you what I did those, what I priced to put on these items. So stay tuned. And with having said that, we'll talk again.